Hello, my name is Ricardo Pagnano, and I am the owner of LCF Kids. LCF Kids is an adaptive fitness center located in Falls Church, Virginia, and Ashburn, Virginia. We work directly with children with disabilities to help them accomplish their gross motor skill goal. Today, I am going to demonstrate how to do dynamic balancing using a balance beam. And also, we're going to talk about starter, beginners, someone who's learning to do it for the first time. So what you want to do is to make sure when the child on the balance beam, they hold your arms out. And you want to make sure they're in that ready position, which is having one foot in front of the other. But as they go across the beam, you want to make sure they keep their head up, looking straight ahead. But also you want to make sure they alternate their feet, one in front of the other, looking straight ahead. And then what you want to do is to get to the next segment, which is lateral. Same thing when they're doing the lateral, you want them to step sideways, but also open up their arms. I have another way to help them balance their self, or to bring yourself back into a balanced position once they start to lose your balance. And when they're going across, it's the same concept. You want to have them keep their head up, looking straight ahead, but also go across right, left, not crossing over. A lot of children tend to cross over their feet, so you want to make sure when they're going across, they're doing it laterally. But also you want them to lead with the right, and also with the left. So what I recommend is to go back in the opposite direction, doing the same thing. And then the last one of the beginner stage to work on all the different dimension when it comes to dynamic balancing, using the balance beam, is backward. Backward can be a little bit more challenging. So what I recommend is to make sure you are within close range so you can assist the child if necessary. Make sure when they're doing it, what you wanna do is to make sure the child looks straight ahead and as they move backward, you want to make sure they're not looking over their shoulder. You want to uh, make sure they look straight ahead as they move backward across the beam. And like I said, a lot of children, they're not able to do this. So you as a parent, you got to make sure you assist the child to build their self-confidence. Another thing I recommend to do is consistency. I recommend make it into a big game. Do at least 10 reps of each. Use something light like a beanie animal, a bean bag, and make it into a game have them take it across, make it into an obstacle course. Another thing that I highly recommend, especially when a child doing backward, the child can, the parents can assist the child so the child having success at what they're doing. I also have a lot of technique about all these skills in my book, Adaptive Fitness and Gross Motor Development, where I talk about more hands-on technique, how you can help your child to improve their dynamic balancing. And lastly, can you please like, share, and subscribe to our channel? Thank you, and have a great day.